How's it going guys? I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, turn the camera around and show you guys what we're talking about. This is a little update. So basically all I've been doing on my holiday is literally stripping this car um, and uh, we're getting there. So I'll go ahead and update you guys, show you what the crack is now. Uh, this is what we're looking at. <laughs> um, currently have all the seats out, door cards all around. Um, all the speakers are out, the Bose system, very good for like spares in case I blew one in the uh, in the black S3, which I have heard back from the insurance and we are getting a good enough payout to be able to get that relatively soon, hopefully next week. Um, so yeah, not, it's all, not all terrible in the hood. Uh, I managed to buy the, um, buy the car back from the insurance for two grand so it's not terrible i mean the engine alone is worth three so i think either way we're going to be okay it's just going to be a uh, long process um obviously i've got the brakes off now you see all the brake fluid all over the floor so that's always great um because obviously the brakes alone are worth 500 um uh yeah for all four i believe so i'm gonna take the back off um and uh, put them aside. Uh, if nobody wants them soonish, um, just to fund uh, the whole fucking situation that's going on, trying to get some money to actually um, get some bits done on the black one as well as pay for it. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, I need to take the center console out because somebody wants the radio, uh, the center bit there, and the climate control. I've got the climate control out. I just need the radio keys to get the radio out as uh, everything's sort of held in with the radio. I can't get to any bolts behind the radio. Um, other than that, we're slowly getting there, just pulling bits off here and there. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the upstairs looks like. Um, I can't remember when the last time I showed you guys, but literally I opened the boot with uh, the manual latch that's inside. Managed to open it, stripped everything out. So like the floor and the wheel, uh, spare wheels all out and everything. Um, and this is a box full of interior parts. Um, so, got some visor. I'm trying to be really gent gentle with everything because I don't want anything to scratch because I might be using some of this in the future. Um, like with this, it's got a LED bulb, so I might just completely strip, just swap the whole cluster when I change it in the black one. And these are the um, little, um, what are they called? would you say they are frames there and i want to get them even wrapped in like um alcantara or something um i think that would be really nice so up in the loft this is how we're looking pretty damn busy now so we've got the glove box the two front seats the rear seats rear um Parcel shelf, and on the seal the bits you guys seen before, intercooler, um, the rear door cards and front door cards. So yeah, we're slowly getting packed up. Some boxes here, interior parts, um, the whole bow system there. Um, so we're getting there. I'm coming here every day. I'm not spending all my whole day here anymore. I'm just sort of coming here for three, four hours and just. Uh, knocking out a few more bits every day getting more and more stuff off i need to hopefully this weekend get the prop shaft off get my downpipe out get my revo fuel pump off um, and the rs4 valve which you guys which is in there which i need off and my revo engine mount um so yeah we still got plenty to do at least another week of it got my springs in there which will be taken off the rear caliper will need to come off so yeah we plenty to do yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here um if you guys like me updating you with what's going on go ahead and shoot a comment um shoot me a comment on some suggestions on what I should be taken off as well as like what sh what should I take off and then modify or whatever to put on the black one. 
Um, what is worth taking off, these need to come off, these are the rear strut, struts. They're like um, 30 quid if they go wrong and they're very common. Um, as well as anybody knows what the stuff like this is, um, there's a box down there. Yeah, it's just, obviously this is all new for me as well, so I don't really know half the stuff, how it comes off. Like the mirror over there is off, but the cable goes down into the door and I'm like, oh fuck. Um, so, but these are really nice mirrors. I mean, they've not really got any dead little dings here and there from like stones, but other than that, they're perfectly working fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below of what you guys think of the situation. Um, suggestions would be great. Yeah, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next update. And uh, yeah, see you there.